Good morning and welcome to the daily today being the 8th of December 2023 where we'll be keeping you updated with all the news and current affairs from our people this morning. I am Sarah Elisha Dasha and Rachel Tanzi will be doing the program with me. Good morning, Good morning Rachel. Sarah. Thank God it's Friday. It is Friday. <laughs> and to our viewers at home, you can join us live on Facebook and on YouTube wherever you are actually watching this program. And you can also drop your comment or your views on any of the stories we will be looking at this morning. And let us go straight into the paper, starting with the Punch newspaper. Another Punch newspaper, Sanusi Carpets and NPCL doubts dollar remittance after subsidy removal. With the writer saying ex Amia entitled to his opinion, and NPCL remains focused, says the spokesman. Some foreign airlines may quit Nigeria. AITA warns the federal government. You can find more detail on page 30. And on the Kaduna bombing, federal government vows to punish corporates. ACF demand GOC's removal, with the writer saying, federal government promises to unravel the causes of bombing, reveal affected communities, defend headquarters, please. Cop accidental bombing with AI U.S. Army Center tells military ACF demands proof. You can find more detail of the big story in page 2. Tinubu Nupek, others mourn as Kukuri dies at 80. I won't surrender my mandate to intimidation. This is coming from Fubara, the governor of River State. NJC Sak Oshun Judge dismisses Adeliki's petition against the Chief Justice. Justice of the state, you can find more detail of that on page 14. Gunmen abduct 10 Nasarawa varsity students. This is really sad. Well, we hope that the government of Nasarawa state is doing something to make sure that these students are being returned back safe and sound. And MPA blames concession of $853 million, $1.8 billion narrow revenue shortfall. You can find more detail on page 13. We have a picture story on the front page of the paper. You can do well to grab the Punch newspaper and read any of the story that is of interest to you this morning. On Nigerian Tribune, Dangote Refinery receives first crude oil shipment from Abami set to commence production. Prison spent 750 naira to feed inmates, 800 naira to feed dogs daily, Senate told. Controller General proposes 3,000 naira daily for inmates. You can find details on page 27. Unending controversy over Quara on the pass. The big story on the paper, Kaduna drone strike, the guilty will be punished in vows. Says Tudumbiri community to be rebuilt under Fulako initiative. The defense headquarters statement on necessary ACF says you can find details on page 2. NJC recommends retirement of Ocean High Court judge declines a daily case request on CJ sets up panel to probe judicial officers. Alleged field abduction file contempt proceedings against EFCC DSS if reps committee tells MFLS lawyers. And then we have Adelabu to rejoin APC next week. Then we have Edo Forest gone fire attack. Three NDLEA operatives injured, one undergoes brain surgery. More details can be found on page 26. Coming from Sanusi, President should not be Petroleum Minister. I was sacked for exposing corruption in NNPC, he says. Tributes pour in as Kokori dies on 80th birthday. We have give our dad accolades he deserves for his sacrifice for Nigeria, a statement coming from his children. You can find details on page 8, and that's all the news on Nigerian Tribune. On the Guardian newspaper on female genital mutilation, government details as painful initiation to womanhood flourishes. When we're thinking that this is a story of the past, here we're seeing the figures of female genital mutilation, about 19.9 million survivors account for the third highest number of women and girls who have undergone the female genital mutilation worldwide and then we have 8 million girls women should have undergone the female genital mutilation in Eboyi, Ekiti, Imo, Oshun and Oyo states in the last five years this is a report coming from UNICEF 
Only 13 states that is Lagos, Oshun, Ondo, Ekiti, Bayelta, Ogun, Delta, Eboye, Oyo, Imo, Edo, Cross River, and River State have state laws that expresses prohibiting the, the FGF. And then prevalence of the uh, FGF as of 2022 was the highest in the southeast, about 35%, in the southwest, 30%, and the lowest in the northeast, which is 6%. You can find more detail of the story inside the paper. One way local flight hit 200,000 ahead of festive travels. You can find more detail for those actually planning to travel through air to see that that is now the amount you will be spending when you want to fly. 10 Latvia varsity student kidnapped by gunmen. You can find more detail of that on page 8. How President and Petroleum Minister stole the 11 trillion Naira subsidy probe. You can find more of that on page 8. And also we have Afri's Bank President Orame Emerges Forbes African Person of the Year. You can see him down receiving the award. Also we have more pressure on industries and business. Over 952 Naira to a dollar exchange rate for imports. More detail of that can be found in the paper. And that's all on the Guardian newspaper. On the Vanguard newspaper, the big story, Kaduna Error. We will be 100% sure before bombing targets. A statement coming from the defense headquarters. The writer under the story says 81 killed, 10 injured in mishap at its unpatriotic two ethnicized disaster. Equipped military with more accurate surveillance technology can urge the federal government on Hanes it condemns at six thorough investigation. U.S. urges use of AI to reduce accidental bombings and we have culprits more be punished a statement coming from Tinibu ACF calls for redeployment of GOC and one division and others sanction culprits compensate victims CSO Islamic Forum tells federal government CDS COAS army solicits more funding you can find details of this big story on page 2 Federal government increases import duty rate by 22.24% third time in one year. Field abduction sue EFCC DSS reps committee tells MFLA's lawyers. Kokori pro-democracy icon dies at 80. Tinubu Oboruwuri Nupeng Mon. You can find details on page 7. Still on the Vanguard newspaper, PDP distances itself from major talks. LCCI, NECA, Lament, Exit of PNG, and others. You can find more details on page 19. And I'm wondering why the government of Nigeria is silent about this exit. Looking at the fact that over 5,000 jobs will be lost, this is adding to the unemployment rate in the country. We really don't want to hear that companies are going. This is one big one. Imagine the smaller ones that have closed and parked and have left, and many people that are going to be losing their job as a result of something like this. We need an economic system that allows business to thrive. If PNG is a big country and yet it's closing up, Sele, imagine what small, medium scale businesses are going through. It's, it's really tough in Nigeria as it is. We can't imagine what 2024 is going to be already. There are 5,000 people working, finishing the year 2023 without jobs. And with the way things are looking at this, people are stepping in into 2024 and more businesses will be shutting down because before we will start seeing a balance in our system, we're looking at a long-term process here. So I just hope that the government of Nigeria does something. Let this pilot start going out, something to help Nigerians. Let empowerment programs and schemes start. Yeah, let them start. We are waiting for that and then hopefully perhaps Nigerians won't really feel this blow but regardless we are going to start 2024 tough it's, it's going to be like that before eventually we start regaining our economy to a stable level eventually what I'm sensing is more crime and that is what I'm That's afraid what of means, because yeah. when more people are idle we are sensing that they are, we are going to be tackling with more criminals eventually True. And beyond the palliative that we have been advocating over, I mean, I can't remember, is there a day we do the dailies without no mentioning Sarah. the fact that Nigerians are in need of palliative. Beyond the palliative, what is the government doing to make sure that more companies, more manufacturers are not leaving the shores yes. of Nigeria? Richard, you remember the, the prices of 
uh, drugs we saw yesterday. Yes, yes. And this is why because some of these um, foreign companies could not actually stay back in the mm -hmm. country. So they have to pack and leave yeah. the country. A number of industries and companies are shutting down. Even local industries, they yes. are looking for a way for things to be more better. We saw one, one of which... One of them, those who are involved in serious biscuits and all of that, mm -hmm. you, yes. uh, you testified to the fact that they were complaining with the fact that because they cannot afford certain products, so mm. they have to look for some. True. So when you even take some of this product, you, you will tell that, that it something is wrong in, in this quality, yes. It has dropped down in quality. That is to tell you that a lot of people are finding it very difficult. Mm. So in as much as we are calling on the government to make sure pilots are available, what are some of these... Um, policies that the government is hoping to put in place to make sure that small and medium enterprises are not That's suffering excellent. because they are trying their best to stand on their two feet. Most times they don't even get support from the government. Mm -hmm. so few individuals who are ready to actually partner with them can no longer even afford to give them loans because True. with the way things are, they can't even sell to pay back some of these loans that they have been given to them. So we are looking forward to when the government will put some of a very good policy yes. put something that will cushion the effect True. of all of this is because with the way things are moving richer just like you said 2024 is already looking like it's going to be a tough year if the government do not do something to make sure that you know what we cannot afford more companies more manufacturers to live in the mm -hmm. shores of nigeria if you are trying to more investors into the country I mean, and the ones make that sure you are going preserve <laughs> the ones you have back yes. here at home because believe you me if these ones are going only God knows what they tend to tell other people that are hoping to come and actually invest in the country. So we hope to see the government doing something on its own part we to make sure so. that the environment is conducive. Talking about electricity, talking mm -hmm. about good roads, talking yeah. about a lot of things that need to be given proper attention. Yeah, so please tell it that they will do that. Still on the Vanguard newspaper, federal government votes 548.56 billion naira for federal roads nationwide. Abuja Lagos Superhighway Lagos Portacot Coastal Road to take off. You can find details on page 9. On Easy Calm in Police over new postings, you can find details on page 9. And then we have a column on page 17 by Owela Kemfa. And also on page 30, sports concerning 2023 CAF Awards. Picture story showing Afrizim Orama emerges forbes africa's 2023 person of the year and that's all the news on vanguard newspaper all right let's take a look at the nation newspaper and on oil tip titanic um security forces arrest another suspicious vessel i'm happy to say that a lot of people are being attacked people who are involved in that so we hope to see that we'll be able to meet up with our quarter concerning the cut of opec NJC rejects petition against Oshun, Chief Justice Adepele Ochu, and then WK defend the 15 billion naira vote for the Vice President residence. Still on the nation newspaper, court asks Fubara and others not to muzzle reverse assembly. Exodus of skilled youths abroad worries the federal government, so we hope they will do something to make sure that more youths are not living. The big story on the paper, Tinubu vows punishment for error bumping culprits. Federal government to kickstart non-kinetic terrorism battle in Tundumbiri. And then government houses, clinic, and schools for not state under Furaku plan. So you can find more of that story in the paper. ECOWAS court declines Nigel Jutta's request to lift sanction. More detail of that story can be found in the paper. And outside of the paper, two kidnapped prospective UCOP members freed. We're really happy out of the nine that we heard. So we hope to hear more of the core members that are in the den of these kidnappers will be rescued back and brought to their families. And that's all on the nation newspaper. On Daily Independent newspaper, field abduction, file contempt proceedings against EFCC, DSS, reps, tells MFLA's lawyer. And consigning 2024 budget, still federal government to spend 6 billion naira on aerospace, varsity, and other dispute projects. The big story on the paper, customers grown as banks ration cash ahead of Christmas. Naira scarcity buys harder ATMs, cash point run dry. With 250 naira per meal, dogs feed better than prisoners this is coming from the senate and of course that should be looked into i mean 
you can't be giving prisoners and dogs um, a big gap. It is, it's not heard of, Sele. <laughs> When you hear or you see things that are being done in this country, mm. you can't help but wonder, wonder exactly <laughs> what are we doing. Yes. Yesterday, you and I took our time to look at the allocation that is being given for our pensioners. Pension, yeah. And then looking at how much is being spent in the Aso Villa. Mm -hmm. And then here we are having again in a correctional center this yeah. is supposed to be a place to correct yeah Rachel. but it looks so like when you are correcting <laughs> i really do not understand mm. how we tend to correct because how can you use 215 naira to feed in this time Rachel? how much is vegetables mm. so 215 naira per inmate yeah. and then you spend 300 naira for dogs so those dogs are more important, are more than, important the than the inmates. No wonder when they come out, they are not corrected. They are not they corrected. Become worse they criminals. are worse. They become they hardened criminals. Hardened criminals. Worse than they went I, in. I remember someone was giving me a story. I mean, when she served in the um, correctional center here in Plaza State, I mean, it has gone to the point that some of these inmates would tell their book or their roommate that mm. keep my space, I'll be coming back. Mm. It has because gotten they know that they are bad still because going they know to they are back. still going to do something, do something. And they will come back. Why do we make things like this? I'm just hoping that if the Senate have actually seen it, then they should do something, something about it. It seems the Senate have a lot of things they need to look I into. Mean, so because it seems work. we've not been doing anything in this yes, country. That is the implication is, yeah. of all of this. So I hope that it will not just make it on the paper. That what I mean, we'll begin to see change of things. I mean, True. let us prioritize these inmates as well. Okay. It's not their fault that they're there. But then if we want to correct them, make them better citizens, then we should take care of them. Of so course. when they come back, they'll become an asset to the nation it's and true. not a liability true. eventually. Still on daily independent, um, National Assembly bemoans incessant near crash incidents, flight delays and diversions. Three officers injured as NDLEA repels gunfire attack in Edo Forest. Alleged attack on Kogi Tribunal Secretary, SDP's utterances betray suspicious knowledge of incident. A statement coming from APC, you can find details on page 6. Tinubu, Omoagege, Mitia, Gani, Adams, Mon, Frank, Kokori, you can find more details on page 6. Anyone guilty of Kaduna village bombing will be punished, a statement from President Tinubu. SPDC paid $559.04 million to NDDC in 2022. Federal government received $1.36 billion. This is a report. The details can be found on page 29. And that's all the news on Daily Independence. On this day newspaper, finally, Dunkote Refinery set for production. Gets first 1 million barrel cook oil fix stock. You can find details of the story in the paper. Also, we have on 2027, PDP, NNPP, SDP, four others in coalition talks. You can find more of that on page 41. Showing compassion, Shaytima lead federal government delegation to visit Kaduna bomb victim, promises rebuilding. And then we have the right of Florida story says the U.S. seek responsible deployment of artificial intelligence. Defense headquarters says 8 to 1 died, 7 to 1 injured receiving treatment. I think yesterday we saw that the number have increased, but we're seeing the papers today are maintaining that 8 to 1 persons actually died. So we can actually verify that story. Tunubu say every commitment to clear forex backlog will be fulfilled with the right that Sanusi said president shouldn't be petrol minister. He says NNPC must account for dollar inflow. Opposed removal of Amcon Levy declares banking sector regulation a necessity. Chike Obi era of regulation without consultation should end. Cardoso says regulation key to some financial system, reduction of operational excesses. More detail can be found in the paper. We're still having Norama receiving his award as the Forbes Africa Magazine 2023 Person of the Year. And that's all on this day newspaper. On the graph IATA, aviation loan interest premium in Nigeria highest in the world. Carriers set up to fall from start. Rather, carrier set up to fail from start. You can start with the details on the front page. First crude supply cargo arrives, Dangote refinery report. You can find details on page 8. 
A big story on the paper, NCS has spent, spent more money to feed dogs than inmates. How can you look us eye to eye and tell us you feed a grown-up man in Nigeria with 750 naira each day and you feed each of the dogs under your care with 800 naira a day? I mean, how can you? You can find details on page 4. Field abduction, file contempt proceeding against AFCC DSS reps committee tells MFLA's lawyer. And coming from General Agwe, one party stayed not good for democracy. Nigeria's near FATS gray lease exit. This is on money laundering. And we have new pen ex Secretary General Frank Kokuri dies at 80. Still on New Telegraph newspaper, PNG's exit. Man LCII predicts doom day for Nigeria. Says economy lacks buffer to withstand exodus. We're not tracking machines in 20 years of operation. This is coming from NAPTIF. NJC sacks judge for misconduct, sets up 11 panel to probe orders. Federal government pays UK from $44 per IIPIS account. This is coming from ASU laments government rejection of UTAS developed by lecturers for same purpose. Says members abandoning classrooms to farm. You can find more details on page three. I mean, why are we spending this, this much seller per IPII account coming from ASU and then we have those that have been developed in this country and then we are rejecting it. It's almost like, um, when we had the past administration always talking about made in Nigeria things, less consume made in Nigerian things, change begin with us. But over the years, is we just keep seeing a government that is willing to just keep spending money when we can cut down the cost of everything we do. And I believe that this is just one proof of many other cases in the country. And I truly don't know where we are heading. We are empowering a country that is already empowered rather than channeling these resources back into our own economy we rather prefer to give it out elsewhere and then i just keep wondering i mean how are we going to grow if we keep doing things like that imagine if this 44 dollars is coming to um, a, a business in the country when if it's coming to a person that have developed it in nigeria automatically this is a company that will eventually be giving you tax will employ more people to work under them to manage these accounts rather than sending this money out. I just hope that these are the kind of things that we stop in this country. Let's invest into our IT system. Let's invest into digital economy. And let's see where rather than paying foreign agencies to give us services that we can have in our country, we will be able to do something like that. I mean, Sele, this is not a good news. You know, Rachel, while you were talking, I'm just trying to calculate. A dollar is almost a thousand euros. Yes. And we're talking about $44, $44. per, per account. account. Yes. And then it's not only the university that are using IPIS. It's not only the university. We remember where Every a number of workers were said, if you are not registered on under that IPIS, yes. you will not receive your salary. And a lot of people were being given a time frame where they True. need to go mm -hmm. get, make sure that Everything is being cleared. They are registered on that. And just like you said, we're, it's just a clear indication that we just want to enrich our economy. And we I'm are not, not concerned about what yeah. is happening. I mean, Richard, you remember the aircraft that the government is planning to sell. Mind you, they are not selling it in Naira. They're yeah. selling it in dollar. And here we are complaining about devaluing our own currency. Mm -hmm. What can we do to make sure that our money have value eventually? Yeah. And these are part of the things, Richard. Just True. like you said, we, do not par we don't even... Um, want to even patronize our own goods we want to patronize other people's goods so it just tells that we don't even value ourselves yes so it's, it's, it's easier for you to patronize other people than not patronize yourself so right now richard this all boils down to leadership there's nothing more That's than it. this leadership we need leaders that are selfless we need leaders that are concerned about the welfare of the country and no wonder here we're seeing a lot of even prof um General Gui complaining about mm -hmm. the fact that one party state is not good for democracy. Mm -hmm. These are part of the thing when some people feel that when a particular party is on power, they want to do what suits them. When another party comes, is doing what suits them. So nobody yeah. is interested in what will make Nigeria to Better. go whatsoever. Yeah. Everybody is concentrating on what would I do personally to make sure that people that are in my own cabinet mm -hmm. are actually you know, benefiting from it. Because when you see things like this, you can't help but imagine 
How many of our politicians are having their companies here in Nigeria? How many of our politicians are patronizing our own goods here, our brothers in Aba and the rest of it? How many of them? It will shock you, Rachel, that even when you check some of these foreign things that we want to patronize, mm -hmm. check the soul of some of these shoes. They are made in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but we prefer to make it in a way that we can make it so, so, so place, make it so, so, so place. We so prefer that foreign things. We prefer foreign things. So I'm hoping, just like we're looking at, this is really sad, it Rachel. Is. And I hope our leaders will realize that. Let us, if you are, if you are worried that the one being created by the lecturers will actually be hacked. With they enough have a, funding, Sele. With enough funding, why don't you have somebody that is different, like neutral somewhere else, mm -hmm. to actually control this? With that, you have control, total control over it, and then you're sure that nobody in the university is tempering with it whatsoever to sue them. I think with that, we'll, be, we'll grow better. Will. And then, they'll just like you said, the revenue will come back to the country rather than reaching other countries. So let us hope and see that our leaders will see the need to actually make a change at we this point in time. Still on New Telegraph newspaper, ACF rejects defense headquarters response to Kaduna bombing. You can find details on page 2, 3, 26 and 27. We have a study that says people with epilepsy linked to cognitive decline. More details on page 26 and that's all news on New Telegraph newspaper. All right, at this point in time, before we continue with the paper review, we would love to give this moment for you to call us. But before the calls will come in, we'd love to take a break so you can take, I mean, some few minutes to chew the stories and then drop your views on our Facebook or YouTube. And then you can also call us as well. So please stay tuned with us. When we come back from the break, we'll open the phone line. Democracy is the theory that common people know what they want and deserve to get it good and hard. Join me every Friday, 7 p.m. on National Talk for analysis as well as in-depth perspective on issues as they unfold in and around Nigeria, as well as an opportunity to add your voice. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, the program is The Dailies. We have been looking at a number of stories from the paper. And at this moment, it is your time to actually call us on the program. We would love to hear what your own views are concerning any of the stories we have been looking at. We've seen the president is actually, you know, said that those behind the bump in Kaduna will also face the wrath of the law. And then we're also seeing General Gwe complaining about one democracy, which is not good for Nigeria. And quite a number of stories we have been looking at on the paper. So we'd love to hear what your own views are. The number to call is displayed on your screen. But please do remember when you call us to reduce the volume of your TV set. Or you can do us the favor by switching your TV set off so we can hear you clearly here in the studio. Because we are really interested in what you have to say concerning any of the story. I still have Rachel with me in the studio. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome, Sarah. All right, before the calls come in, let's take a look at the Daily Sun newspaper. And on the Daily Sun newspaper, NJC sack Oshun State Judge, seek a panel to investigate others. NJC sack Oshun State Judge sets up panel to investigate others. We did the fan on page 26. And the big story, war over the vice president, 15 billionaire resident. Wiki mocks will be DS protesters. Labor Party insists. All right, let's take this call. I think I can hear a call. Hello. 
Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Yes, morning. What's your name? Morning, Where are you calling from? In the studio. Yes, I want to say that I'm calling from Bauchi. All right, please go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. All of you still are in that studio. I want to blame Oga Bukhari for saying, changing the name of prison to correctional center. It doesn't work that way at all. You see, those people that are committing those crimes, they feel like if they, the moment they release them, they would like to go and commit a minor offense, then they will throw them there because of anything. You understand? Because home cannot even come from a good background that they can fit them. You understand? So, in regard to Nigerian system of uh, corruption, and but I think what happened to GF Kennedy, snipers on the roof, will start happening to all of our leaders this time around. You understand? They got blessed and uh, the soul of Jerry Rowling who put Ghana together. You understand? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Even though I'd like to make an observation on the first point where he said that um, that most of them are coming from a background where they are not being fed well. Mm. So Rachel, are we trying to say let's not feed them well so they will commit crime? No. Or are we trying to say that if they get, if they, if they get good meal to eat, mm. eventually they want to commit a crime to go back? Or what exactly are we trying to say? Uh, what the caller is trying to say is that a lot of them go and commit petty crimes to come back and because eat. this is where they get to meet their daily means because where they are out there, their need, even when it comes to food, met. cannot be met. So you find out that when they are saying, keep this space for me, it's not really, they won't go and do something big. It's Richard, just something it's quite small. big because most yeah. times, even though, yeah, there are some that actually petty crimes and then yeah. I don't think that will actually warrant you to be lucky for a very long period mm, of time. True. But there are people that are like, let's say, of late we've been having issues of um, smuggling of drugs. We do. And then we, we, we have said here with you before, Richard, with the fact that most of them don't work alone. They of always work not. with some top people. It's but those top people are not being mentioned. Mm -hmm. So they, they know that eventually the they will commit a crime and they'll still come back. Yes. But then what we're saying, just like you said, changing the name from prison to correctional mm. center, we really want people to be corrected. But I think apart from even the feeding, which was being made or highlighted on the paper, they need to be revamping entirely of that correctional center, which of course, a lot of things are not working well. We've seen where there was a case where it was being brought that some of the Boko Haram are even working with the waters. Yes. And they need to be a cleaning up of that. And they are still operating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So apart from even the feeding, a lot of cleaning needs to be done in the correctional center. Yeah, so when people are going there, they will come out to be better. That's the aim. Selling. That is the aim. I mean, the prison is a place for you to reflect. It's mm. not to go and make anybody more of a hardened criminal. Of course. It's correctional because whatever criminal mindset you have going in there, you're not supposed to come out with it again. There are supposed to be lines of, of programs in the prisons that makes you a better first of all it's about the remorse mm. because even sometimes when people are being taken out of prison on parole for example is because they've admitted that they were wrong for doing mm. a certain crime they see their fault in it they're no longer denying that they did certain things and then um, the, the, the committee or the panel in charge of looking into their situation will say, okay, this person has come to term that I did wrong. I am no longer, I am taking full responsibility for this crime. And therefore, I think this person has become a better person. And in as much as the person haven't served their full um, um, years, term, yes, yeah. their term yet, mm. they can still be released and then giving them a grace to see if they can become better mm. people out there. So it is a correctional center because I hope that our Nigerian prison has programs for these inmates to be able to become better people. Mm. That let them not go and become hardened criminals and come out. I know that there will be a handful of those who don't care anymore. Uh, we are going to live a life of crime. This is what I've chosen for myself. But there are people that is just one mistake that let them and are desperately in need of second chances, are desperately in need of an opportunity to prove themselves that they are no longer who people thought they are. 
I just hope that there is a system put in place for them to really redeem themselves mm. and then become better people. Mm. And then the second statement concerning snipers, JF Kennedy, mm. and all of that, we don't want that in Nigeria. We don't, we don't want our presidents being assassinated because I know in the history of America, so many presidents of were course, assassinated so until they grew to the position where presidents were no longer assassinated. We don't want that in Nigeria, regardless of how mm. our leaders are failing us regardless of their selfishness, regardless of how we can see the kind of agenda they promote, we don't want anything like that to happen in mm. Nigeria. We just hope to see governance playing out as it is and let our leaders do the needful, let them do right by Nigerians that have voted them into these positions. No, Richard, picking it up from let them do right by Nigeria, the big story on the Daily Sun here, Mm -hmm. where we're seeing war over the vice president 15 billion resident it's this story didn't just start today it didn't start they have been back and forth we've, been, back seeing and it, we've yeah. been seeing this story yeah. and i wonder why the minutes of the fct is insisting yesterday we were we saw where a body came up protesting that they want the fct minister to resign they do not he should be hmm. sacked and here we see him daring actually protest that what will go and do your work That's it, it has gotten that bad i even have to speak how some said today because hmm. Sometimes when you hear or you see things, you wonder what really do our leaders know that they are actually handling or working with people. Mm. We need to be very sensitive to the times. Rachel, right now a lot of people are going through a lot of hardship and then seeing certain things can actually trigger them to it, do things it, that are yes, wrong. And I'm just hoping that mm. rather than coming out to yeah, all right, we calling? think we have another call. Hello, good morning. Uh, I want to comment on the state of the nation. All right, please go ahead, if sir. You What's your name? Let's let's, uh, let's let's assume that we are having uh, this uh, nasty deal that we have, we have we have now. But if you are a Christian, then you you go for the better. It is not the idea that uh, people would be uh, leaders would be assassinated. It's, it's, it's out of it. Yeah, the the democracy of the uh, U.S. took hundreds of years before the decision was stabilized. Now, whatever they are doing, all of them, God is in them. They will, they will all do whatever they do. But what we do is that we pray for the better. Then we, then we citizens, uh, we, should, we should embrace decency. If I may, if I may tell you, we ourselves we are our problem. You understand me? We are with you, sir. Why? People, 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 people kept at the correctional center to 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 to, to, to enforce laws and correct things. They are now colluding with the with the prisoners. So you can see the attitude of we Nigerians too. The, 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 the leadership has a very little thing to do. But we ourselves, we have to wash ourselves and clean ourselves. If we behave, what we, what what we what we put in or what we are doing is that why God is selecting those type of leaders for us. Let us let us clean ourselves and behave when you give somebody. You give, you, 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 look at look at the issue of a uh, Buhari. Buhari Buhari meant when. But uh, the people surround him, they were just doing whatever he, he likes. They, if they give money to the SME, to be given to the people for, uh, for small scale uh, business, they will not be, instead of doing it, they will share the money. Okay. Why they will not know? All right. Sir. So the money doesn't get to the So So we, we citizens, we are the ones clean ourselves. Mm. When policies come as from the top, good policies come. But you see that the people that will be, be uh, 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 empowered to enforce those policies, they will be able to do things and, and do whatever they like. Mm. Thank you so it much. It is a problem. And I hope we all go to the bank. You want to, you. Uh, you want to apply for loan. The bank manager will be asking what is his own percentage. When you have not done your own, uh, you have not done the job you, you, you want to look for. Uh, whatever, it's everywhere. Once any job, they will ask for percentage. Mm. Mm. 
if you, you, so you go to Abuja now, you want a job, they will, they, they, will, they, they will get your point, you for a million, 500,000. It's all right, sir. We get your point here on the show. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, you, you could, from, from our colleague, you could get that he was just trying to explain the How? magnitude of corruption yes. that is actually happening in Nigeria. But we hope that will not be part of the reason why the country will collapse mm -hmm. eventually. Because from the, from a, for, for a nutshell, or in a nutshell for me, what he was just trying to say is the fact that we are the cause of the problem we're yeah. going through. And we have to look for a way to sort out these things in a way that will not be part of the reason why Nigeria is crumbling down. Mm -hmm. Because we are complaining and complaining, and then we are part of the problems. Exactly. So how can we do that? So just like I was saying about the issue of the FCK house, we're talking about how yeah, things are. All right, we have another call. Hello, good morning. Yes, I'm speaking from Josh. All right, please go ahead, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, this is Mr. Kim from Josh. All right. Good morning, Mr. Kim. Go on. Thank you. I want to talk about uh, the first caller that said uh, J.F. Kennedy, you understand? And then God bless the soul of uh, Jerry Rowling. Yes, we have to do it by ourselves. When did we have to wait? Please, let's ask ourselves. When Elijah said, okay, you, but I'll bring your God. Uh, and they will make sacrifice. Oh, is your God asleep? He did it. You understand? Jerry Rowling did it. You understand? You are comfortable in your seat in that equa television. You, you know, receiving fat salary and shining, wearing designer clothes, shoes, ring, and all those things. It doesn't count. Your people are suffering. Masses are suffering. You understand? That is why Jerry Rollins have to help Ghana. You understand? And Ghana stands today. Ghana is greater than Nigeria one billion times. You understand? This ethnic group will say no. That ethnic group will say no. There is no you know, uh, having faith. You understand? Let me, because you know, togetherness. That will do a cleansing. Who will die, will die, and let it go. You yes. understand? You will be there. And then say, no, violence, no, this, uh, please. Yes. I right. beg you. Thank Let's you. do the right thing. Thank you, so Mr. So I can help out. Let me, this nation be great again one more time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank King, for your comment. Uh, I mean, said uh, I believe Mr. Kim has a different mindset about us in the studio. Of course. First of all, we're just in here for an hour. We are in the economy of Nigeria. I go to the same market as you, Mr. Kim. I feel the blow of the exchange rate every single of day. I'm a very common Nigerian like you. Like, I enter Keke. I, when there's a problem Whenever anywhere, I'm also scared for my life and all of that. We are very common people. So we are not far away from the reality. We are in the reality mm. with you. So we're not from a position, we're not on an exalted position where we do not know where, what is happening in Nigeria. So we are not just talking on analyzing things out of touch from reality. We are in it. And we know today that for sure, we don't need assassination in Nigeria because it's going to be chaotic and it's going to turn this economy upside down. Let's crawl and eventually walk to where we want to. It might be rough. It might look like governance is not what we want it to be, but honestly, assassinations is not. Do we need leaders to do what happened in Ghana? Yes, we do. But then it's up to us still to vote those leaders in that position, just as we have a previous caller saying that our leaders as a, are reflections of, of who, who we are. are. And are we going to deny that? Because you are sitting in your office and you're collecting bribe. The difference between you is that probably your bribe was just 100,000 and for our politicians out there it's in millions. But all of you are having the same crime. The difference is the amount of what you receive, but it's still bribe, it's still bribe. Richard, you're so, not going so far. How bad in your, your, your everyday selling when you're supposed to sell something for 100 naira? Your profit, you, you're extorting people. It's still the same. They are truly a reflection of who we are. So perhaps we start fixing ourselves, our mindset, and then perhaps we will start seeing leaders who reflect who we are. So we're not out of touch, Mr. Kim. Thank you so much for calling, but you need to of know course. that we're you not know, You know, sometimes when you reality. hear callers, of course, uh, Richard, yes. when you hear callers saying things, definitely he's entitled to his opinion. He so he feels like we're living in another different space and then mm. we do not feel. But just like you rightly say, 
we feel the pain of we everybody do. because we are also in this together and that is why we're saying that if we truly want to see a change we should be that change that we want to see you cannot tell people to change and then you're not changing you're on not. your it, it doesn't make sense so even after that assassination what profit would we make eventually ghana is still growing as it is presently so why use that country so just like we say it is never a solution never. it is never a solution rather let us look into fixing ourselves so that our country will be better okay, eventually true. well let me quickly round up the daily sun newspaper i've been there for a while three operatives injured as ndlea drug cartel clash in edo forest you can find detail of that on page five 950,000 barrels of oil cargo breach at Dengote refinery a boy you shut down five fake hospitals, uncover 107 quacks. This is what we're seeing when more doctors are leaving the shores yes. of Nigeria. More quack doctors will come up, and here we're seeing a boy state is doing something about that. You can find more detail on page 28. Also, federal government to build houses, clinic, and schools, and others in Tundumbiri, Sheitima, Abbas, Baduru, Ganduji visit the bomb community. Federal government bounce on OPA, Pamply, and others as NIBSS stop non-deposit banks from fund transfer channels with the rider says PSSP is not permitted to hold customers' fund. You can find detail on page 2. Downside, we see no plant abduct and Mifele, EFCC, DSS, and the NC, NCS. This can find detail of that on page 5. We have a picture story on the front page where we see Nigerian delegates at the International Conference on AIDS and STI in Africa, Zimbabwe yesterday. And that's all on the Daily Sun newspaper. I mean, Sele, I know we don't have much time, but mm -hmm. before moving to the next paper, quickly, I think this is very important because a lot of Nigerians use OPAY, PAMPAY, and all of these yeah. payment channels. It's important for us to read it. Please get the Daily Sun or just go do your research on page two mm. or just brand um, um try to know what this is all about because it's saying that pssp's essay is not permitted to hold customers, customers funds. funds we do have people depositing funds to this account and keeping them we are saying that they are not supposed to in the first place so if anything should happen perhaps people could have their funds trapped people could lose money eventually so this is very valid i believe that because a lot because of people a lot are of youth especially yes, exactly. are using this so um, please let's just get the information like before tomorrow something mm. will happen and then nigerians will be stranded most especially young people of young course. Bus small businesses and mm. all of that eventually well richard thank yes. you so much i think just like you said, our time is fast spent, and thank you so much for You're always welcome, doing Sarah. this with me. And thank you to our viewers at home. Thank you to our callers who call in. Thank you for your valid contribution and your own um, viewpoints on all of the stories that we looked into this morning. Until we come here again, do have a blessed weekend ahead.